Tune on in to The Real World on Facebook Watch. The, dr the drama is not over. And that's so crazy that we only have a couple episodes yeah. left and y'all gonna keep getting it. And were you guys fans of The, of the Real World? Yes, yes, we were. I was growing I up. I used to watch it every day after high school, after middle school. Just come sit and watch it. My mom didn't like me watching it sometimes because right, right. it was kind of, you know, shysty a little bit. We were young. Like, yeah. Well, overall, I watched it all the time. Any any characters you relate to at all? Because growing up as a black gay man, you know, they they talked about a lot of issues. And people were, yeah. Ah, you know, uh, I wouldn't say I relate because I feel like I'm my own person. But definitely the the growing up, the back the backstory of the black gay men that they had on there, I could definitely relate to. But not just as a person in general, but the whole coming up and coming out to my family and friends and I could definitely relate to that aspect of it. Cause I feel like I'm one of the one of a kind black gay Christian Republican that they've casted it, yeah. on this show. So it's just like uh, you guys are on Facebook, I mean it's immediate. What are some of the comments or what's the feedback been like? I'm surprised. I've actually gotten, when I do read the comments, I've gotten a lot of love, surprisingly. I mean, of course, I see one or two, you know, negative Nancys, but I just let it roll off my back. I don't really pay attention to them. Yeah. With me, it's kind of all negative Nancys, but at the same time, it's like I, I was vulnerable and showing that side of me and to have a self-reflection, to look at it back on Facebook and then me now, it's just like I feel like I have an overall growth, you know what I mean? So the bad comments, I feel like it's funny to me because they don't know me and they just don't know they that experience. They see this little bit of yeah. part of the, you know, the 10 weeks we're living Exactly. Here. They've seen 20 minutes of all of this filming. So it's just like, I mean, you got to roll with the punches, you know what I mean? And what was your favorite uh, real world in the past? My favorite real world was the 2004 San Diego season. I love Cameron um, Wimberly. She is one of, she's the reason why I even applied for the real world. And so, um, have you reached out to her or you want to say something? To her? Girl, you're the reason why I'm here, and <laughs> uh, hopefully, one day I can meet you because I would like to thank you for even letting me think about this journey. So, well, and have you spoken? I'm curious, have you spoken to any past people that have been on Uh, I spoke to Cyrus, uh, I spoke with uh, Corey, I spoke with Wes, I spoke with a few, you know, a few big names from Real World, and I mean, it's just been encouragement, you know, they don't down me, they don't do anything. It's just more so of giving us life lessons of like their past experience and our past experience and like not letting it get us down or just like to just keep progressing, you know what I mean? Would you guys do this experience again? Would you do it again? <laughs> I, I would do it again, but just with different people, you know, just to get different views, some more different views, you know what I mean? Yeah, I think that, um I think everything happens for a reason, and I definitely believe I was on the show for a certain reason, um, even though I, I uh, talk about how I go back and forth about it, but I think I would do it again for sure. It was an amazing opportunity, once in a lifetime. I truly believe life is about these kind of moments and experiences, yeah. and so we got the opportunity to have it. So. Well, are you guys in love? You, you got a boyfriend? Yes, I've proposed to Megan. No, oh my I'm God! <laughs> No. no, single yeah. as a Pringle. We, if you know of anybody, I'm looking for my husband, so please send him my way. Andre, what about you? Are you in lucky in love? What's going on with you? Uh, I just, I'm not in love yet. I mean, I'm just trying to get adjusted to, you know, finding myself first. Then after I'm like complete in myself, that's when I want to venture out and kind of bring somebody in. You know what I mean? But I mean, I do date. I do, you know, the other stuff adults do. But, um... I like wouldn't what? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me more. Like have important conversations. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. But um, yeah, I'm just I'm just, I'm I'm open to it. You know, I'm not just blocking everything out. But like Megan, I'm looking for you know just that natural a vibe. Good yeah, a good person. Who's gonna love us and show us what love's about? What was the most challenging uh, thing of the season that you guys had to deal with? For you, for, you know, it could be different for both of you, both of you. But anything. That sticks you out. go first. Okay. <laughs> The most challenging thing with me is living with my other roommates who have total opposite views as me. Because I feel like it was almost me versus them in a sense of, you know, specific topics that we would talk about. I feel like it would be them versus me. But, you know, it was hard for me to just stand strong and just be like, nah, this is how I feel. Right. And I'm letting you guys express how you feel. So give me the same respect, even though it's just me versus what? 
six other people, yeah. it's like, just respect me as a human and I can give you the same respect. I definitely think the most challenging part for me was definitely, um, you know, I always lived in a bubble, so I was always closed off to the rest of the world. So I guess coming um, about with all the other issues in the world that yeah. I had to deal with and like come face to face with and like this is people what people struggle with and I guess like personally I would be talking like my insecurities, being able to become be so vulnerable on TV and emotional, that was really hard for me. Um, so I think those two things were the biggest. Did yeah. you guys forget the cameras were there or did you always know the cameras? I think in the back of our minds, we always, yeah. we always knew they were filming. We, but at some point, you get to the point where you're just saying, you're "Just like whatever." Whatever. <laughs> were you excited to leave the house when it was all said and done? I miss my family. I think that's yeah. what it was. I don't think it was more so excited to leave like the environment that we're in, but more so getting back to our real lives. Yeah, I think there was definitely times of, you know, that for me, I was super excited because we have been together for ten weeks. I was ready to get back to. Louisiana and see my friends and family, but I mean now, you know, being done with the show for a yeah. while, there's definitely times we were talking about how we kind of miss it. Uh. So. And looking back at yourselves, what's that like? Seeing from the time you guys walked in the door, you guys have two more episodes left, but seeing that whole journey unfold on camera, how's that? Yeah, for me, it's just like, man, I didn't know that I was so oblivious and ignorant to certain aspects of my political views and my religion and my just a lot of things that I was just so self-centered about that my roommates helped me you know bring out so looking back at that it's kind of cringeworthy but yes. at the same time it's just like I'm glad I got that experience yeah I definitely dealing with like my insecurities for the world to see that was something that was really hard and there was times when you know we talked about you know the yeah. whole lgbtq community and yeah. i was trying to learn more about that and i literally just saw myself crying i was like i almost felt that sad for that girl because it's like i don't know because i never mean to hurt anybody and that was the main thing going on the show i always would say that this world is so full of hate so full of like just like torture and meanness and like i didn't want to be that i want to be happy and positive and because we needed that difference in the world so what can we expect it's two more shows left I oh, know we're getting close to the end. Uh -huh. um, I don't know. I mean, I guess you know, our goodbyes are coming, mm -hmm. and we still. I think even though we have three episodes left, we still have a lot to uncover. So, yeah. Guess y'all will have to tune in. Tune in, yeah. One more extra. Hit the subscribe button and the bell. Never miss a video.